In many countries, medicines can be sold in roadside stalls, no longer in their original packaging. Even where pharmacies or hospitals are used for sales, such medicines are often not purchased in original cartons or packaging. The differences between wealthy and poor countries are huge in terms of the risk of purchasing and consuming fake, counterfeit, or illicit medicines. The poor in these countries cannot afford expensive medicines, nor can they afford to buy medicines in large quantities. Sometimes the poor knowingly, I repeat, knowingly purchase counterfeit or illicit medicines. Some governments even discourage prosecution of these crimes because they consider the cost of certain authentic medicines prohibitive. If you recall my reference to parents' love for and desire to, the, to care for their children by purchasing the medicine prescribed by their doctors, then imagine yourself as a parent living in Africa. How can any parent in Africa take comfort in purchasing and giving their child prescribed medicines when they are so poor that they can only afford cheap medicines? How can they ensure that they are buying authentic medicines? A frequently stated estimate credited to the WHO, the World Health Organization, is that about as much as 30 percent, almost one-third of all medicines, all medicines sold in Africa are fake or counterfeited. 